it takes two to speak the truth it takes two to speak the truth my dear students parents teachers and all the well wishers welcome back to another video the series of good manners we think good manners is only with our elders or formalities in informal things there is no need of this manners or being polite you are mistaken my dear friends even when you are with your friends your bosom friends your close friends your classmates your younger brothers younger sister friends even with them you need to be and to follow the good manners sometimes we call our classmate or friend hey boy and then you murmur you wanted to say something and you murmur and the boy or the girl will come and ask what is that you are saying i'm not able to hear you or i'm not able to follow you this conversation impolite not following manners when you are with your friends speak clearly distinctly sufficiently loudly i want everybody to remember this phrase sufficiently loudly it's not that screaming at the top of your voice or just murmuring inside your voice box sometimes our voice doesn't even come out of the voice box even that is bad manners when we don't speak clearly when we don't try to express ourselves clearly and you feel i have said it is you should follow if you think you are not following the manners it's not good manners that's why the great philosopher american naturalist environmentalist a writer an author thoreau henry david henry david thoreau he has said the statement what i have given is thoreau's statement it takes two to speak the truth one who speak and the other who hear how beautiful if we can understand this simple statement our life will be easier better and most of the arguments and misunderstandings will come to an end it takes two to speak the truth one who speak if i think i am speaking the truth i should make it very clear to all the people who are trying to listen to me what i speak they also understand the same then only the truth is spoken otherwise i go and i teach i have taught if they don't understand it is not my problem if you say you are mistaken it is not good manners so an example a classic example given by a writer take for example a word called socialism three groups i make my class into three groups one group believe socialism meaning of socialism is taking away the money from rich and giving it to the poor group a believes that socialism meaning for them meaning of socialism is taking money from the rich and giving it to the poor group b believes meaning of socialism for group b is it is the industry and the commerce and the group c believes it is being more kind compassion 
eight treating others the neighbors as yourself your down to earth personality if they ask one you give two that is socialism for group c now i go to the class i have three groups of students in the class group a group b group c three groups have different meanings for the word socialism then i go and say children how are you all you know i believe in socialism if i start my lecture like that the group a will think that what is this ma'am believes in socialism that means she takes away the money from rich and gives to the poor i don't like her they may stop talking to me you may think what's wrong for me socialism is different meaning for them socialism is different meaning have you expressed yourself clearly to the one who is listening to you what exactly you mean by socialism so we need to express ourselves to different groups in a different way if they understood most of the problems in the world are solved early in the morning when you go to office and you wish each other and you say hello good morning mr a and the mr a comes and says what is good morning is there anything good in the morning today he might have had some bad experience that doesn't mean the morning is bad see how complicated when you express that's why tharo very clearly says he says it takes two to speak the truth if you say that i spoke and i went away if they understood i don't have any problem then continuously you'll have the arguments and misunderstanding never your work is complete and fulfilled always remember when you are with friends even the age group low age lower class higher class doesn't do anything with the ages but still speak clearly distinctly sufficiently loudly and make sure what you believe the truth is also expressed in the same way to your listener the same kind of content then what you speak is meaningful i want everybody to think about this great statement given by tharo i repeat it takes two to speak the truth one to speak another to hear Take care be blessed have a nice day